If everyone would please come into the room and take your seats so that we can begin. Bless your hearts, I love you dearly. Let's do this, come on. We're all in our places with bright, shiny faces. Welcome, welcome. Ah, what a joyous occasion. My name is Maggie Covarubias, and I'm, I have the honor of serving as president of the Board of Trustees, and I want to welcome you here on behalf of this sacred community. It's an amazing time for this, um, for this uh, community. Um, it's a time of honoring our past and planning our future. And I'm getting emotional, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so pleased to welcome you here on behalf of the Center for Spiritual Living of the Board and the community. And uh, we are gathering together in joy to honor and celebrate the installation of Linda Laundry Star and Donna Star, the reverends, reverends. So I'm sorry for my shaky voice. I'm just feeling so emotional. And welcome, welcome for those of you online. Welcome those of you here. And um, so happy to be here in this loving community at this spectacular time. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Reverend Eileen Brownell from Chico, California, here to, as honored to be here to do your invocation this morning. So please go with me into that special space and place of prayer. Spirit of life, creative power, divine wisdom, Absolute of all that is in all possibilities and promises, we give thanks for all that has led to this sacred moment and that all that is yet to be in the hours, days, and years ahead. We give thanks for those who mentor us, seen and unseen, the women and men in our lives who were our teachers, who are the words of encouragement when we needed them the most and the ones who believed in us when we thought we couldn't write one more paper, read one more page, or make one more presentation. We know they are blessed by their selfless acts they gave us. We would not and could not be here today if it was not for their givingness. We give thanks for this Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene and for all those who have sustained this community of faith for many years past and for generations yet to come. We give thanks for Reverend Linda Finley and all that she has given and will give to the living traditions of religious science as we all share in this divine community. We give thanks for Reverends Donna Starr and Linda Starr Lundry and their willingness to share their skills, enthusiasm, and wisdom. May the words we speak, the dreams we share, and the faith we deepen this afternoon give Donna and Linda wisdom, comfort, and courage for all the days ahead. For the way is often hard, the path is never clear, and the stakes are very high. So deep down, there is another truth. We know they are never alone. They are always one with the great I am. We are blessed by the love and light that shines here today. And we say together, and so it is.
Ah, I am honored to be the spiritual director here at the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene. And my name is Linda Finley. I've been here 16 years as of two weeks ago. And um, plan on being here a while longer for sure. Um, I originally said committed to 10 years. Well, okay, I did that. And, and, um, and I am delighted to be adding to our crew today. And um, I, I'm, I'm at a place right now where I would like to call up Reverend Trish Mackey uh, to read the Declaration of Principles. We've been doing one a week uh, for 13 weeks, uh, but that we're going to hear all of them today read by Reverend Trish, and then we will begin the ceremony. We believe in God, the living spirit almighty, one indestructible, absolute, and self-existent cause. This one manifests itself in and through all creations, but is not absorbed by its creation. The manifest universe is the body of God. It is the logical, and necessary outcome of the infinite self-knowingness of God. We believe in the individualization of the spirit in us and that all people are individualizations of the one spirit. We believe in the eternality, the immortality, and the continuity of the individual soul forever and ever expanding. We believe that heaven is within us and that we experience it to the degree that we become conscious of it. We believe the ultimate goal of life is to be a complete emancipation from all discord of every nature and that this goal is sure to be attained by all. We believe in the unity of all life and that the highest God and the innermost God is one God. We believe that God is personal to all who feel this indwelling presence. We believe in the direct revelation of truth through our intuitive and spiritual nature, and that anyone may become a revealer of truth who lives in close contact with the indwelling God. We believe that the universal spirit, which is God, operates through a universal mind, which is the law of God, and that we are surrounded by this creative mind, which receives the direct impress of our thoughts and acts upon it. We believe in the healing of the sick and control of conditions through the power of this mind. We believe in the eternal goodness, the eternal loving kindness, and the eternal givingness of life to all. We believe in our own soul, our own spirit, and our own destiny. For we understand that the life of all is God. Ministers, welcome Eileen Brownell from Chico, Reverend Trish, who is here, and our new ministers. Board of Trustees members, licensed practitioners, congregation, and friends. We are gathered here today to install these ministers of religious science as official staff ministers of this member center. 
Official notification has been received by the Centers for Spiritual Living in Golden, Colorado, that Reverend Donna Starr has been duly chosen to be the community minister for the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene, and Reverend Linda Lundry Starr has been duly chosen to be the minister of music for the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene. A minister of religious scientist of religious science acts in a threefold capacity in fulfilling ministerial office. To serve as minister to the congregation and counselor to all who come to them for help and guidance. To serve and as, an, as an official and accredited teacher of religious science under the authority of a charter granted to this center by the leadership council of the Centers for Spiritual Living in Golden, Colorado. And every minister of religious science must have first received a license and recognition as a practitioner before they may be licensed or ordained as a minister. Therefore, they serve always as a practitioner to meet the needs of the people when a call is made. I now present to the Board of Trustees and this congregation of Center for Spiritual Living Eugene, Reverend Donna Starr and Reverend Linda Lundry Starr, who having signed their letters of call are here to be duly installed as staff ministers of this center. Would the two of you please rise and step where people can see you. Hi. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why we called y'all here. <laughs> Since the earliest of times, there have been certain symbols of clothing uh, that for various professions. In modern times, we recognize a badge as a symbol of law enforcement. We recognize uh, the white robe or the white, white coats of the doctors. We recognize various different things, the hard hats of construction workers. Ministers are no exception. Since the third century, ministers have been known for their robes. They... Uh, what was common to early Christianity was rendered sacred eventually. The clergy continued to wear robes as a mark of reverence and sacredness. During the third and fourth centuries, it became a mark of humility. As individuals moved to the desert to live as monks, they wore the practical clothes of the sand robes. Eventually, there were those who came to understand the robe not as a sacred badge, but as a mark of humility. In either case, sacred badge or mark of humility, the combination of clergy and robes became a firm tradition, a tradition that continues in many faiths to this day. Religious scientists, by and large, no longer wear robes on a weekly basis as they once did in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. You may have noticed I never wear one. <laughs> However, there's a feeling of sacredness when a minister puts on a robe. It signifies that the individual has been called to service, completed all the coursework, and been sanctioned a minister. They're willing to wear this special symbol that indicates they will, they, they will serve others. They are willing to put the needs of others above their own and that they are here to guide and teach oneness, the divine principles, and the path of social consciousness. Donna Starr and Linda Lundry Starr Will you step down now so that we can put the robes on you appropriately? of making the little zipper thing work. <laughs> okay, we don't do, we're not doing the stoles yet. And I have, a, I have a sweet story to tell. When we were in the back room there and they were bringing their robes in, Linda came in, Reverend Linda came in, and she had this big bag with the robes in it, and she had tears running down her face. She said, I just realized I walked in this room with my robes. 
Ja. Wir sehen mal. So. You heard the declaration of principles. Do you accept these principles and promise to adhere to them and make them the basis of your teaching? I do. I do. Do you consecrate yourself to the ministry that you will do your utmost at all times to reflect the spirit within and all that you do, all that you think, say, and do? I do. I do. Do you dedicate yourself so that you will be constantly aware of the spirit within all people and that you will see only the perfect spiritual person, perfect in mind, body, and spirit? I do. I do. Do you promise to minister faithfully and lovingly to the people now committed to your charge and to seek, an, and to seek ever to be an example of moderation, patience, and loving kindness? I do. I do. May the infinite spirit that empowers you to do all these things grace you with the strength to faithfully perform the same and to live in the vision of this center and the visions of the Centers for Spiritual Living. Amen. Board of Trustees, will you please stand? If you are a member of the Board of Trustees now, will you please stand? Members of the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene, we now present to you these individuals who have been duly elected to serve on the Board of Trustees. Not only do these board members oversee the business affairs of the center, but their individual and collective awareness establishes a consciousness for the entire congregation. To the board of trustees, do you promise to follow the light of truth, seeking at all times to be aware of what is right rather than who is right? Do you accept Reverends Donna Starr and Linda Lundry Starr as ministers and teachers? Thank you. You may be seated. Now, if the practitioners who are here would stand. Yeah, you just thought you were going to sit back down for a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your minister knows and understands the role of the licensed practitioner as part of the ecclesiastical team, establishing and maintaining a continual consciousness of spiritual vision for the center. You also carry out most of your work in the great and powerful silence. The fruits of this work are manifested as demonstrations in the lives of yourself, your clients, and your center. Do you consecrate yourself to this spiritual vision and activity? Can you promise that at all times it will be obvious where your commitment is? Do you accept Reverends Donna Starr and Linda Lundry Starr as ministers and teachers? <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. Of course, we're going to make people stand right back up again. So. Okay, everyone who in, in any way, shape, or form considers the Center for Spiritual Living their home, whether you are an official member or not, would you please stand if you are able? You are the voice of the center. You are the ambassadors of religious science in this community. You are the backbone as the volunteers giving service. Do you promise to uphold and practice the principles of religious science moment by moment? Do you promise to uphold the vision of this center? If you have a differing opinion, do you promise to meditate first, think secondly, and speak lastly? <laughs> if so, please answer, I do. I do. See, you were meditating first and thinking, I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you promise to give of your time, talent, and treasure to this beloved activity known as the, at the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene? Do you accept the Reverends Donna Starr and Linda Lundry Starr as ministers and teachers? Thank you. You may be seated. Yeah, this is this is this is a for sure one. Now you can sit for a while. I'm gonna get.
get where the microphone can hear me. Reverend Donna Starr? Yes. Reverend Linda Lundry Starr? Yes. Through the authority vested in me by the Centers for Spiritual Living in Golden, Colorado, and acting on behalf of this congregation, I do install you here and now as the community minister and the minister of music of the Center for Spiritual Living, Eugene, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining to your office. Teach, heal, minister to the people. Peace be with you. The God of peace dwells richly in your heart through love and makes your label fruitful unto eternal life. Amen. Now, including you and everyone in here who is a minister, please stand. Whether you're part of this community or part of the organization. As colleagues, do you promise to give of your friendship, your love, and your, super, your spiritual support to these ministers? I do. Thank you. You may be seated. At this point in time, now that they are officially, we're going to put the stoles on. The stoles on. That, that seals, that's the, the equivalent of the kiss, whatever, yeah. <laughs> Now, I, I had down that there would be a candle lighting, but I am not seeing candles, so we didn't do that, so that's okay. It's all perfect. So I would like, if the two of you have anything you would like to say, you are both free. You know, when you, when you give a minister the podium, <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> And when they look at their watch, it means nothing. So, <laughs> so I would, I would like uh, who you, I'll you decide. Like this microphone. Hello. Thank you all. <clears throat> Thank you all for being here, for staying. <laughs> Um, and for witnessing this sacred moment, it's such an honor for, for me to be standing in this place right now, here in Eugene, in this beautiful sanctuary with Reverend Linda, with my beloved, <laughs> and with Reverend Eileen, and all of you. In 2016, um, I got this call of knowing that uh, our world was changing um, and that it was very important for the spiritual leaders of the world to step into their work in the world, that we need to have solid spiritual foundations moving forward into a world that is sometimes uncomfortable, that we will continue to need to be reminded of who we are, the truth of our being, and that God is in charge, regardless of what it may look like in the moment. So I'm grateful to be able to be here to do this work. I have fallen so deeply in love with this community. I've fallen in love with, this, with Eugene, I've fallen in love with the opportunities that are here, and I am so excited to fill every seat to overflowing very, very soon to start outreach into the community so that our message of love and oneness and inclusion is heard. And I'm just grateful to all of you for accepting me. Thank you. always dragging her. Um, hi, thank you for being here. I, I really, um, it's not often I don't have anything to say. 
If I had my way, I'd be at the piano right now, singing you all a love song. Um, but but what's what's real is this journey for to ministry for me has has just been another uh, chapter in life that that made me excited about knowing more about me. Uh, I think it was Reverend Trish in her message today said something about uh, getting to know me and understanding myself takes up all of my time, so I don't need to try and spend my time figuring out others. And uh, that was that was what I set out to do on this journey to ministry. And it has unfolded beautifully. Uh, still feeling a little <laughs> well, this robe is 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 really um, it's helping me step into these shoes in a, in a new way. It's creating this feeling. And so here's here's what I want you to know about me. I've been in religious science for about 15 years. I absolutely love people. I love each of you. I love each of your faces. I'm still enamored standing up here knowing that I'm now a minister um, in this center for you. I don't think I will ever say anything to you or say anything from this stage or in a classroom that you don't already know. What I can say is that I live my life out loud, as is our theme this year. Uh, my life is a demonstration of what it's like to walk in paradox of knowing the indwelling spirit is always with, through, and as me. And yet, sometimes things appear to suck out in the world. Um, and I work to see the God in all of it. And when I do, when I find that, it is so exciting <laughs> that I am affirmed that God is all there is, and that we're all it. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, and then I'm on the right side of the wheel, you know, <laughs> that I'm, I'm doing it right. And so my commitment to you is to continue to do it right and to receive you lovingly when you tell me I'm not. So thank you for having me. Very, very glad to be here. And now, if I may, no. <laughs> um, I've been looking at the very reality of, you know, the calendar moving and um, looking towards retirement. And that's not something I'm looking at in the next week or two or even the next year. It's the next few years. But most of you who know me tend to know I'm a planner. I'm a, I'm a detail person. I'm a little, tad bit OCD. I, you know, no. <laughs> and I look at the big picture, and I was envisioning having <clears throat> someone, actually a couple, move to Eugene and come on as staff ministers and get to know everyone. And, um, and I thought I had the perfect people lined up, and then they went to Lake Oswego, and then she got pregnant, and then they moved back to Colorado. So, hmm, <laughs> that obviously wasn't it. And then out of the blue this summer, I get a phone call. Hi, we're brand new ministers, and we want to move to Eugene. Can we be part of your church? And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the answer to my treatment. Ah, OK. <laughs> And so uh, for those of you who want to know, where did you find these people? I didn't find them. They found us. And, uh, and, and I'm delighted because Donna was trained by Reverend Edward, who was part of my life, my first seven years in Petaluma, when, when he was the minister, in, or still is, but the minister in Santa Rosa. And I've known David Bruner for years, and his, his assistant minister, Susan, is my prayer partner. And so we're, we're kind of connected without being connected. And I basically want for this community, after we went through COVID, I don't want any more trauma for us. I don't want a, a beloved minister to leave and then you go through this six months to a year, interim ministers, finding people, whatever. I thought if we could make this so that these people would be getting to know you and you getting to know them and then in a couple of years at the annual meeting you can take a vote and decide 
and then slowly they'll fade in and I'll fade out. You know, and so this, and they, the, we've talked about this. I'm not springing this on them right now. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. But, but, uh, but that, was, that was just an answered prayer. Um, and I am, I am honored and delighted that you came up here, that you decided after meeting me that you still wanted to be here. <laughs> and, um, and I would like to uh, call up uh, Reverend Eileen to do the benediction now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Linda, why don't you stand between the two of them and the three of you hold hands together because you are now an incredible team. We are team. now a team. You are now a team. Please go with me in prayer. Infinite mind, ultimate cause, divine intelligence, we came together this day in oneness to renew, to share, and to bless those that have been called to serve in a greater way. This ministry is a blessing and as well as a serious responsibility, it recognizes the special gifts that Linda and Donna come to share and calls each of us to support them knowing they cannot do this job alone. In love, we thank you for accepting this challenge, knowing you are always divinely guided and offer your best to this spiritual community, its members, and all who enter seeking support, love, and spirit. We are blessed by the gifts of Reverend Donna and Linda that have, get, have been guided to share, and we know they are blessed by our presence and continued support. Grace is always present in their service as a healthy sense of humor, love, and kindness as they share their ministry in joy with this community. As they deepen in their faith, their knowledge, and their wisdom, we too are blessed. We give thanks for this day in celebration and dedication. And so it is. Amen. So it is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And uh, uh, may I? <laughs> I'm, Take it over. This is your, your show. All right. So, wow, we're ending at 1212. How magic is that? So um, I would like to invite everybody over into the social hall where Astrid's been cooking up a storm, and there's some great... Uh, food in there, and uh, we'd love to just chat with everybody if you would join us now. Thank you. So you're, you're dismissed. <laughs>